as you guys just saw, Boss is testing, meaning we are at Six Flags St. Louis for the last weekend of the 2024 season. I'll be here for tonight, maybe also tomorrow and Sunday. Let's go and have a good day. Just got first ride of the day on Screaming Eagle. It was not a Zen ride because there was one other person on the train in row four whereas I was in the front row. It was better than my first ride on it last Friday, but in general it still wasn't great because it was slow and it didn't have much air time. Now I'm going down towards Justice League for obvious reasons because I'm going to get a start towards my 2000 max score. It's crazy to think that today is the day I'll be hitting it after just over two years after hitting my 1000, which it came on October 29th of 2022. And here we are on November 1st, 2024, going on my 2000. So let's head down to Justice League and get some work going on it. on Justice League was gonna only do four but I missed a max score on round two so I had to do a fifth round and I got a double max and then Ellison I just got an awesome back row ride on Mr. Freeze that was something wasn't yeah it? dude it was dark man I know you were trying to do a blindfold but as for me yeah. I took off my my hoodie but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be so it was still enjoyable yeah I had my hood up on my jacket which is the first time I've had to wear a jacket to a park this year and there it goes still have got to catch a rollback which that is not I have my hood up because I'm initially gonna do a blindfold ride but then I Again, after Batman ate my strap back in August, so that is what it is. We're going to the boss now, and it was down a little bit, but we just saw a test while getting off of Mr. Freeze, so we're gonna go over there and get on that before that closes for weather. flying through the abyss really fast man yeah black abyss <laughs> that was the wildest i've seen it run since daredevil days which daredevil days was insane tonight it may not be quite on that same level but it's close like mr free is really good and all but this thing is the best run in the park and it's not even close to tonight <laughs> which was a ton of fun. And then I did Scream Eagle at dark, which was way faster than my ride earlier today. And now I'm going down to Mr. Freeze to try that in front. And then I'm gonna probably shoot for my 2000th max score. Got a front row ride on Mr. Freeze. And on that one, I did not wear my jacket. And that was a bad idea. But I will say, I think I like the front better because of how intense it was up there. The airtime coming off the top hat was great. The sense of the trip was amazing. Can't really complain. Now I'm gonna start marathoning Justice League for the rest of the night to try and get my 2000, which I am at 1986, I think. So we have some work to do, and we got about an hour 45 to go. So let's go. Just got up to 1998, and this next ride, if I double max it, will be 2,000. I can't believe that I have a very real chance of double maxing into 2,000. Let's get it.
Max score number one, August 14th, 2018. 50, April 20th, 2019. 100, July 14th, 2019. 200, October 17th, 2020. 300, April 10th, 2021. 400, June 30th, 2021. 500, September 25th, 2021. 600, December 19th, 2021. 666, April 30th, 2022. 700, May 27th, 2022. 800, July 20th, 2022. 900, August 20th, 2022. 1,000, October 29th, 2022. 1,100, May 28th, 2023. 1,200, July 15th, 2023. 1,300, August 26th, 2023. 1,400, September 30th, 2023. 1,500, April 28th, 2024. 1,600, June 5th, 2024. 1,666, July 12th, 2024. 1,700, July 19th, 2024. 1,800, September 20th, 2024. 1,900, October 12th, 2024. 2024 and finally 2000 November 1st 2024 freaking did it guys I just got my 2000th max score as a double max what more could you ask for I got so excited about getting my 2000th max score on Justice League yesterday that I forgot to share my ride count it was 16 on Justice League and then two on Boss, Mr. Freeze, Rookie Racer, and Screaming Eagle we are back for the Saturday and this is most likely my last day at this park for the year so let's go ahead and have a good day looks like I'm not going to be getting one more ride on Pandemonium tonight as it's going to be close all day looks like and it was closed all day yesterday that's not a big deal to me personally though since it is my least favorite coach in the park still would have been nice to ride it again though you might be thinking do you not ride justice league since you just got your 2000 absolutely not i'm gonna keep going because i have no desire to stop anytime soon so let's do two laps on it and then go take on mr freeze gosh darn it that was close to a double max 996 with a second blaster after max in the first that was one of my closest near misses but at least i got several last night but i am now at 2001 so we're slowly but surely gonna be making a push towards 3000 which if i don't take a guess will be coming either late 2026 or early 2027 
I'm literally looking at it right now, dude. I'm not seeing any signs of thunder.
forgave my thoughts on Mr. Freeze from earlier. I thought it was very solid, but I will say, compared to my rides last night, it was a little bit on the rougher side, but it was by no means bad. Then I rode Boss twice, and both of those rides were amazing as well. That too wasn't quite as good as last night, but it was still really good. As for which I like better, I think Boss for right now, but then again, I imagine once it gets darker and I get an arrow as I'm both, I might think differently. Although, Boss is a better narrow than Mr. Freeze anyway, so I don't know. But overall, those two rides were really good today.
was absolutely incredible from start to finish. And sometime over the off season, I'm making a video of the top 10 years I became a coaster enthusiast. 2024 is definitely towards the top. As for where exactly, I cannot tell you that, but I can tell you this much, it is easily top three. Now let's go down towards just the league, get a couple laps on that. I'm only in three, and then Ryan just got here a little bit ago. Once Ryan's done getting some for dinner, he and I are gonna tackle Mr. Freeze. try that so I'm gonna go out there and take a look at that and obviously I'm not gonna ride it because if you guys saw the vlog I shot from the start of May and you might recall that I did not like Catwoman and I have no desire to ride it ever again the fact that Ellis is actually gonna be on it which I think he's a psycho to do it I can't believe it so I'm gonna go out there and get his thoughts on it and also maybe do Eagle since I'm in the area Ellis you absolute psycho why did you sign yourself up for this you are a bad man oh man you are insane <laughs> Yeah, you can probably hear him on there. It doesn't sound like he's enjoying himself at all. Like when he comes back around, only quiet. You guys can hear him. Oh, they're already slowing down. That was a lot shorter of a cycle than what I had when I rode it. So I don't know if Alice liked it or didn't like it. it Sounds like he did not like that at all. But I'll get Sauce once he gets off. He's going the opposite direction now. Let's see what he thinks of this time. Is. I don't think he enjoyed the first half, but maybe the second half he like more because I think he's going forwards through now. Whereas the first time he was going backwards. Well, actually, either way, you go forwards and backwards, but I think it's a matter of which way you're facing. Which I think they're facing like out towards River Pine Tree and Ninja down that general area. Whereas when I rode, I was like the Street of Eagles. So, oh gosh, you can always see the rock at a time. That's not a good sign. Oh my god. Ellis, I know you're probably watching this later, but if you are, I, I'm sorry. You think which you do this game? This is insane. I, I don't know what you're thinking, but. I thought it wasn't bad as I thought it was gonna be, man. Wow. Well, like, one thing that, I did notice. It was unbalanced. It was awesome. Oh, really? Like, the, the second cycle was so good. It sounded like you did not like it at all, though. Yes, I did. Wow. That that is insane. You actually enjoy Catwoman. Yeah. But one thing I did notice. Wait, Ryan. Is it just me, or did that cycle feel a lot shorter than the one you and I had on it? No, it's the same. Really? It's the same. Yeah. Is it really? It's the yes. same. Okay, because that looked way shorter than what it was when I wrote it. No, but, it's man, I cannot believe you like that, Ellis. Jack is the only one who doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm the, the only, only one, one in the like group it. that doesn't like it. <laughs> well, well, well. I was nervous at first, but then I kept having to like it, so. I can't believe you did. But, hey. How about let's go pay Joker? Yeah, we're going to go down towards Joker now that Ellis actually got on Catwoman, which I still can't believe he did that. Absolute madman. Just got on Joker Carnival of Chaos, and that ride is so good. I will say that I like it more than a 
Lightning and Thunder, and that means the only coaches I have ranked ahead of this park are my top four. So Boss, Mr. Freeze, Screaming Eagle, and Batman. Now I'm gonna go down towards Justice League and get what'll probably be my last marathon on it for this year. And then by the time 10.30 comes around, I'm gonna go up to Scream and Eagle and make that my last ride of the day. Because I figured that since I made that my first ride season at this park, I might as well make it my last. So we're gonna do that once 10.30 comes around. I'm in the station and in line for the front row, which is obviously where I want to make my last ride of the season on. I imagine it'll be a really quick line. So, let's wait this thing out. And it's so weird finishing off my night, not at Justice League. Like, usually I finish off my night there, but this is an exception to that. So, let's see how Scream Eagle runs it a little bit. Last three days, you're out of here until you ride on the Scream Eagle. <laughs> Screaming Eagle. That was amazing. Brian, you and I were the very last ride of the night. Ellis, oh, you and Will were on the second last ride. So that good. was lame. Yeah, that was absolutely incredible. That was gnarly. Yeah. Front row, red train. So much airtime on that. Like, oh my word. I'm at a loss of words for how good that ride was. Like, oh my gosh. If the park doesn't open tomorrow and that was the last ride of the season, that was a darn good way to end out, yeah, man. Amazing. Just incredible all around. I was not able to make it to Six Flags St. Louis the day after that, so this was was my last visit for the year. My final ride count was 14 on Justice League, two on Boss, two on Mr. Freeze, and then one on Colossus, Joker Carnival of Chaos, and every other coaster in the park with the exception of Ninja, Pandemonium, and Rookie Racer. In terms of highlights, the last ride of the night on Scream and Eagle was amazing, Batman was insane, Boss, Mr. Freeze were all good. Overall, I wouldn't really say there was a bad ride. And before I click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment away enjoyed about this video and be sure to share with someone else you know. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I'd appreciate you subscribing and to the bell and so you can notified every time I upload a video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit Parks Beach. Check me out there as well via the link in the description. As for my next vlog, it'll be from the Runaway Mountain Coaster as well as Silver Dollar City for Coaster Christmas, so stay tuned for that. Until then, I'll see you later.